I like to vote with my dollars. And if you followed me before, I, I think you know that about me. I, I'm very environmentally conscious. I'm very um, politically conscious, the last few years anyway. Um, but I know that I'm only one person. And although I call and write my uh, representatives, there's still not a lot I can do sitting in my little house. So the way I, I try to make an impact is I vote with my dollars. And you can too. So if there is a company that's, that donates to a cause you don't appreciate, um, like Chick-fil-A, uh, donating to causes that are very um, anti LGBT, the alphabet mafia, then don't go to that shop. I'm very against Hobby Lobby because of their stand on um, abortion and Planned Parenthood and even birth control and trying to um, push their values onto their employees. I don't think they should have that right. Um, so if if you have certain causes like that, that are important to you, bear that in mind. You don't have to go to that store, find an alternative. And having said that, um, I don't go to Walmart anymore. Um, I haven't for years because they put all of these self checkouts in and to get their permit to come into a community, they had to promise to hire X amount of employees in that community. Well, when they rolled out all those self checkouts, I'd be really surprised if they are now still hiring that X amount of employees in the community that they promised to do. Um, I don't think that's right. They aren't contributing to our community. And what I have done is I shop mostly on Amazon now as much as I possibly can. And then I supplement my fresh um, fruits and veg over at Aldi or once in a while I'll go, you know, Giant Eagle or Save a Lot or whatever. You know, I'll go to some other store for my fresh stuff. Um, and I know a lot of people are against Amazon because Jeff Bezos doesn't pay taxes. And no, I don't think that's right. And I think that we need to change the loophole that allows him to get away with that. But when you look at Amazon as a whole, what Amazon is, is um, many other companies all just agreeing to sell their wares on this one centralized hub. So find those companies that you like and that you trust and go to their home page on Amazon. You can then shop at your favorite stores or get the product that you might be able to um, shop online and buy, but it'll come directly from China. You can get it from Amazon or one similar. And um, at least you know who you're dealing with and you have a way to send it back if it's not acceptable. If it arrives damaged and it's a food item, Amazon will just credit you because you can't return food, right? You could just get a credit and then you can either buy it again or buy something else. Um, so I was very, very dismayed when I heard about the storm that hit the Amazon warehouse and the employees were not allowed to go home. That really struck me hard. And I, I didn't know how to handle that because then I thought, well, what now? Well, you know, where do I get stuff now? Um, I, I follow, you know, different people on social media, just, just like you do. And I found an employee of Amazon and she said, you know, there, Amazon gets a lot of flack, but, but I'm here to tell you, I, I've been working for them for 15 years and, and they have stood by me. I got COVID and they paid me, you know, to stay at home and self isolate. And, and, you know, they give me my time off. I go there, I do my job and I go home and, and I get paid well to do it. And so she said, you know, for me, it's a good company to work at. And that was enough for me. I was like, oh, okay, let's hope 
that that warehouse was an isolated incident where that storm hit. Um, if you have other information to that, please comment below. Please let us all know um, your thoughts. And um, if you have an alternative, let, let me know that too. So my, my point in the video is vote with your dollars. Find some place that deserves your money because you don't have to just give it to anyone. You worked hard for it. Spend it wisely. Have a good day, guys.